Hello, welcome to Chris Collects, and today we're going to go through the February pickups, the kind of overall roundup. So let's get into it. Um, we've got quite a lot actually um, just to do a very very quick uh, add up we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 4ks we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 blu-rays uh, actually scratch that 11 uh, 12 13 14 15 uh, 16, 17 Blu-rays, uh, one vinyl and one slipcover. So quite a lot to go through. Um, we are going to start with the vinyl. Um, I only got one vinyl and that is uh, the album Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. Um, if you don't know, I'm a huge Olivia Rodrigo fan. I really, really like her music um, and I'm actually going to see her live in May. Uh, but yeah, this is one that um, I actually like this album more than her first album. So it was a bit of a no brainer for me to, to pick that up now. Um, right, so getting into all the other stuff. Um, we'll start with the slipcover. Uh, you will have seen in the January um, roundup video that I picked up Elvis on 4K. Well, it didn't have a slipcover. I managed to get the slipcover for about £3.50 off of eBay. So. I now have a slipcover for Elvis. Uh, now diving into all the actual physical media stuff, we'll go through all of the uh, Blu-rays first and we'll do the 4K second. So, picked up Noah. This was a blind buy, it was a really cheap blind buy. Can't remember exactly how much off the top of my head, um, but I've not seen this. Um, it's directed by Darren Aronofsky. Um, and it had some pretty decent reviews, so I thought, why not? I'll check that out. Uh, picked up Bad Neighbours, uh, really good comedy, that one. Um, I picked up Anchorman, uh, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, uh, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. I'm a big fan of the Anchorman films. The first one's definitely better than the second one, um, but it was nice to pick those up, and they were quite cheap as well. Happy Death Day to you. No, happy death day to you. Just happy death day. I need happy death day to you. Um, but happy death day. Uh, I used to have this in the collection. Sold it. Really don't know why I sold it. Because I really, really love this film. It's a really, really good uh, horror film. Uh, from, uh, yeah, from Blumhouse. Um, and it's one of the, the good ones from Blumhouse. Um, picked up Exam. I used to have this as a rental copy. This was an upgrade from the rental copy. Um, revisited this recently it's not as good as I remember it being but uh, it's not a terrible film by any means um, uh, I picked up The Departed um, as well um, and I just realised whilst I uh, was doing that I actually missed out Layer Cake um, I picked up Layer Cake as well another great film that I, I'm a big fan of um, it's a Matthew Vaughan film as well uh, one of his better ones. Um, he's got some really good films, Matthew Vaughan. Um, but, you know, his most recent one, Argyle, not so good. Um, moving on with the Blu-rays. Um, I picked up this Ted and Ted 2 Thunder Buddies collection. Um, this is just re-releases of Ted 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Um, really weird. This. I picked this up from HMV for eleven ninety nine, and then when I went back to that same HMV, literally days later, it was like twenty two pound, and I was like, "What is going on with that?" Um, really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, uh, picked that up because I've, I've been watching the TV show, and it made me want to revisit those films. And actually, our tattoos is funnier than I remember. Um, so that was good. Uh, I also picked up Robin Hood. Men in Tights, this was an upgrade from uh, DVD. I actually just recently just got rid of the DVD. Um, so that was a good upgrade to get. Um, I also picked up 
Gotham the Complete First Series and Gotham the Complete Third Series. I'm going to try and get uh, all five seasons of Gotham. Um, I'm just sort of looking for them in the wild. I'm not going to try really hard to, to find them because um, I didn't pay much for these. And that's kind of how I want it to work. I'm just going to wait until I find them. Um, and then I also picked up Black Adder, the complete collection uh, on Blu-ray. It's the first time it's ever been released on Blu-ray. Love Black Adder. It's one of my favourite uh, comedies. So I definitely had to grab that. Um, right, moving into the 4Ks. We'll save the steelbooks for last. Um, I only got two steelbooks. Um, and we'll also save some of the more fancy ones uh, for last. So, I picked up Oppenheimer on 4K. Uh, now, this is a weird one because I do actually technically own Oppenheimer on 4K. I own it as a steelbook. But the steelbook seems to be really hard to get hold of and I don't feel comfortable opening it. So, uh, I picked this up on 4K and paid full price for it because it's, you know, at the moment, really hot movie, uh, really popular. People are, you know, wanting to watch it because it's likely to win Best Picture at the Oscars. Um, so... Yeah, it's just not really on sale at the moment. Then I also picked up um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Um, this is a, another film that came out last year that I absolutely loved. Um, and I got it when it was a little bit cheaper. It was £21 instead of £24.99. I picked up uh, The Prince of Egypt. This is the 25th anniversary limited, ed limited edition. Which comes in this slipcase. So there's the standard MRA um, and you get some art cards with it as well um, this I actually technically got in January I got it towards the end of January and um, I don't think I included it in the January roundup video which is why it's here um, I got the next one off of eBay this is uh, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 um, really annoying that it says Part 1 on the physical media release because it's not actually going to be called the next one's not going to be called Dead Reckoning Part 2 so that's rather annoying um, it does have two discs it's got a 4k disc with the film and special features so it's got Blu-ray disc just says special features on it um, I don't know if that's going to include the film as well or not it doesn't actually say that it's 4k and Blu-ray it just says it's 4k um, but I picked this up off eBay for around £20, um, but I wanted the slip cover, which is why um, I went out my way for that one. Um, picked up Kingsman the Golden Circle. Uh, I'm looking to get all three Kingsman movies, um, and this one was quite cheap, so I picked that one up. I picked up Blade Runner 2049. Again, I got it because it had the slip cover. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to get it without the slip cover. So there's that. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Um, another one that I got because it had a slip cover. It was also in the two for 30 deal. Um, and another film you're, you're going to see in a minute is the film that I was definitely getting. So I then needed to make sure that I got something else that I wanted. Um, and I really liked this film. So I grabbed that. And this is the other film that I got in the 230 that was the one that I knew I was going to get, which is June. Um, is actually a slim case. Um, and I kept the slip cover off my like thicker case release. Um, and it does fit. It is obviously quite loose. Um, but it does fit in there. Uh, but yeah, rewatch this. Love this. Um, and I actually just recently saw June Part 2, which I think uh, there'll be a review video on this channel like a full review video is either already there or it'll be there soon um i don't know which order i'm gonna release these videos in um and then the last 4k i picked up at least that wasn't a steelbook or like a fancy edition is the fablemans this was 9.99 with any purchase um this was a no-brainer it's a steven spielberg movie that i didn't get around to seeing um this is supposed to be like you know one of his um uh, passion project type movies um, and it's all about filmmaking which I think this is probably loosely based on his life um, but yeah it is just a 4k disc um, but I don't mind that 
because it was 9.99 and it fits in this nice little slim case as well so that's the Fablemans um, we got a Criterion Collection release uh, Thelma and Louise on Criterion Collection at 4k film that I actually haven't seen uh, but it's a uh, Ridley Scott movie um, I've heard really good things about it so it's one that I was like no brainer get it on 4k I will check it out so that is Thelma and Louise um, I picked up Flash Gordon this is the big box set edition it's absolutely huge um, yeah it comes with uh, I think it's five discs yeah five discs disc one is the uh, 4k disc disc two is the blu-ray disc disc three is uh, like a, a special features disc disc four is a documentary disc and disc five is the soundtrack by Queen um, but yeah um, I got this because I was watching Ted and in Ted there's loads of references to Flash Gordon I haven't seen Flash Gordon for years I used to have it on 4K, the standard edition, um, and then I was like, oh, John, you know I'm going to get it again. And I saw that you could just readily buy this big, like, fat box set. Um, so I went for the box set this time in the hopes that I won't sell it because I went out of my way to get it as a fancy box set. Um, picked up Memento, the 101 Films Steelbook release. Um, I got this off eBay, actually, and it actually came in a protective... Uh, case which is really cool um can i get this out there we go and it is still factory sealed i think i'm going to keep it sealed because i do actually own memento on blu-ray and it's not a 4k it is just a blu-ray and um, i do believe it's meant to be like a new blu-ray restoration um but i've sort of decided that if i want to get the the newer Blu-ray for Memento. I'll get the standard 101 films release and replace my current Memento Blu-ray. Um, but I had to get this because I'm a big Christopher Nolan fan, and it's a bit of a no-brainer for me as a collector. Um, the last steel book I got was uh, Bullet Train. Um, I actually got rid of my standard edition 4K and got this because it was 9.99 on Zavi. Um, so I have opened it up. It's a really nice steel book. Comes with the Blu-ray and the 4K. This is a film that it got really middling reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. And I don't know why. Because Bullet Train to me is just a lot of fun. It feels like a Guy Ritchie movie. But not directed by Guy Ritchie. Which is not a terrible thing actually. Because Guy Ritchie... Um, some of Guy Ritchie's movies are great. And some of them are not so great. Um, so... Yeah, but it had that feel to it. Um, a lot of fun, that film. Um, and the last thing to mention is something that's probably going to be a bit of a hot topic of debate. Um, I picked up these. Which, if anyone knows what these are, these are the original theatrical edition uh, versions of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Um... Now, these are not something that are, you know, readily available, that are sold, um, and you can just pick up anywhere. These are usually things that you have to download yourself, uh, put onto a disc yourself, like that, um, uh, print out the artwork yourself, get the case yourself, blah, 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 blah. Um, I didn't do that. I picked these up secondhand off of someone on eBay. So someone on eBay had already done all that. And was selling them on. Bit of a grey area. You probably shouldn't do that. I just couldn't resist. And then I watched this. Recently. Um, unaltered. And I've only ever seen it on that. Um, DVD release. Which is the laser disc scan. And that's. A bit horrific to watch. Watching this. I now don't think. I can watch. This original Star Wars film not theatrical like I, th I think i have to watch the theatrical version now having now seen this properly um uh, it is fantastic it's, it's a fantastic restoration of it and um, i haven't actually gotten around to watching 
these two yet. That's mainly because these two have fewer changes. And um, this was the big one um, that I wanted to check out. But yeah, um, I do also like how they look on the shelf, the spines. Um, the artwork's decent. It is just like the poster artwork. Not sure what all this uh, CBS Fox video stuff is about, but there we are. Um, so yeah, so that is the original theatrical release Star Wars trilogy on Blu-ray. Um, I do want to emphasize that I don't really condone you going out and getting essentially these are, these are bootlegs. I don't condone that. Um, like I said, that's I got them off a seller on eBay who had already done the work himself and was just passing them on, was just selling them on. Probably shouldn't do that. You probably shouldn't sell them on. Um, but I'm lazy and really did not want to do it myself. Um, I also wouldn't ever get anything else like that. Like I wouldn't get the Disney Plus shows bootleg onto Blu-rays because I just don't have any desire for that. But these are something that I've had a desire for for a long time. So there's that so that is everything as you can see it was quite a big month i didn't expect it to be such a big month because january was also quite a big month i'm hoping march will be a little bit of a slower month because it is killing me financially uh, but yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one